Let's see. I think I kind of just messed that up. Hopefully we got the sound in there. I don't know, but we're going to find out shortly. So anyways, thank you very much for tuning in. And if you'd like to help support the Lucky 7 Mud Mowers, you've got the PayPal on the bottom, uh, ran by Nightbot. This is a clean family chat. Uh, I welcome everybody to come up on the panel. We're going to be talking about mud mowers today. Uh, it doesn't have to be just mud mowers. It could be anything that concerns to do with mud. If you have a truck, you want to come up, talk about your truck. You want to talk about cars, motorcycles. It does not matter. Something a little bit different today. Uh, I will run that panel. Lightbot's running in the background. If you'd like to purchase a iced coffee for me, that'll be you. Awesome. I'll take a Mercedes if anybody wants to donate a Mercedes. Super Chat's running in the back. There's the link. And uh, if you'd like to become a member of my existing panels, as you guys all know, I got some benefits with the members if you like to join. So my existing members are Tommy Powers, Pull Bear Ed, Parts of Pieces, Go Cards All Gone Fishing, Fun Things to Do with Tech Sparky. Bama Mud Mowers, Just Schools, Mud Mower Farms, Cheryl's Live Chat, Twister V, Twin Garage, Gas Station Man, Blind Cube, Katrina, Cartridge World, Carol Ashworth, Grepper's Adventures, Christopher C, John Kelly, Hal Fisher, Moe Outlaw, and Mama Rondo. That is my people for the members. If you'd like to join the special perks, I do $25 Amazon cards twice a month. If you're a member, if you're a non-member, I only do it once a month. So you have a better chance if you become a member because you'll have three times of a chance to be able to purchase. We have Craftsman Crusher in the basement. Give me some thumbs up there, buddy. Let's welcome him. What's up? <clears throat> What's up? How you doing today? Good. Doing good. Awesome. Awesome. The flies are bad, but no well. Yeah, you're working a couple things you said earlier, huh? Yep. Awesome. What are you working on uh, lately? I've been working on trying to fix one of my mowers to off-road it. So. Yeah. Did you end up fixing that transaxle? Not yet. I I well I I got the part. I just got to order the parts for the the part I need for it. Oh wow. Yeah, you gotta get that thing up back in the mud. Yeah, this thing will be in the mud hopefully this summer, so. Okay. Looking forward to that. Wanna well, take a second and flip the camera around and show people what you have there? Alright. Uh, we got show Grandpa's them Adventures them the, coming in. Should I show them the mower? Yeah, you can show show off. That's what that's what we're doing the panel for today. Alright. Yep. It's not letting show me turn the off. camera on, so I'll just turn it around. So. Alright. Murray. Select with snowblower tires on it. That's oh, what they fun. call extract tires. Yeah, or car extract. Yep. R front and rear bumper, foot throttle, and when the transmission's in, it's a five speed 820. Nice. And it's got a flat head, 13.5 Briggs in it. Yep. And um, we got this. I kind of stole this from. Mr. Fearless Front, I have his style exhaust that goes under and out the back. Nice straight pipe. Yeah, we had to put that m dirt bike muffler on it because it was ear piercing loud without it. <laughs> That's and it. The thing that I like about this is that the, um, the fuel yep. has the clear filter in it, but it's... On this side, you don't have to worry about the clips because you can just pull it right out and pull it on on the trail if it gets clogged or anything. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. And I did. It's a bicycle brake cable, but I'm gonna do the um, brake line. But I did put grease through the brake cable, right. so it works works somewhat like the one um, the brake line. So. Yep. The That's this one. Line. I have. I have a couple others that I'm going to make a mud mower, so this is awesome. just the first one. Let's welcome uh, Grandpa's Adventures. How you doing, Grandpa? Hey, Grandpa. Good, good morning, Lucky. Good morning, Craftsman Crusher. Good morning, Cheryl, Mrs. Parts and Pieces. 
Well, who else we got in there? Sparky, two ATVs. Well, there. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we got a lot of people in there. Don't forget to hit the like uh, if you want to. If you don't, hit the minus. I don't care. Uh, if anybody would like to come up on the panel, there is the link. The conversation today is uh, just about uh, lawn mowers. If you want to talk about anything that goes into the mud, or if you're a mud pit, or you remember some old times that you were playing in the mud, it doesn't have to be with the motorsport. It could be with just a, being a kid playing in the mud. Well, I, I do remember one time I was like four years old. I thought it would be a good idea to face plant into a mud hole. <laughs> that wasn't too long ago. That must have been what eight years ago. Uh, eight or nine. <laughs> it was like it was like three and a half, four years old. Yeah. Thank you very much, Grandpa, for running the PayPal. Well, I've played in the mud a couple of times, but it wouldn't be appropriate to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> the deepest mud hole that I have is like eleven and a half inches deep. It's pretty deep. Yeah. Mine too, young man. One. I said mine too. Nice. How you doing, Randy? Hey, Randy. Hey, Randy. I did run the link. If anybody would like to come on up on the panel, and hey, I'll be right back. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> nice, Mr. Briggs. Guy. We'll wait for you to load up, Mr. Briggs. Show your face, there, buddy. Gotcha. You're all set. Let's welcome Mr. Briggs into the chat. How you doing, Mr. Briggs? Hey, just stump off a pate. Let's go watch my niece graduate from high school in Florida. Nice. Very nice. Got a bad. That's my last niece or nephew graduating. Not, and I'm our, and I got a two month old. Damn, what's that say? <laughs> <laughs> that means we're all getting old. Brandon, thumbs up. All right, let's welcome Brandon into the well, show. Mr. Briggs, tell her I said congratulations. We do have room for one more person. Come on up, anybody. Jared Hill, how you doing? Hey, Brandon. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Brandon. Mr. Crazy, Randy Tritt, Darren Hill. <laughs> So what is everybody's plans for today? Anything interesting? I'm going to hopefully fix my other lawnmower and work on my mud mower. So hopefully get that thing done. It would be nice if I was able to get up on mine. I might, I might take a ride up to my work later on today and drive around in the parking lot. I got the key for the woods in the back. Would you go through the mud that's back there? Yeah, I went through it once. And I got stuck, uh, of course, because it's never been driven through, you know, it's years and years through Virgin mud, ground, you know? man. That's it, virgin ground, yeah. Might be able to have a little bit of tr fun up there. Uh, let's see, I want to tractor pulling. That's it, Jared Hill. Come on up, talk about tractor pulling, anything. Anything to do with tractors, automotive, playing in the mud, does not yeah. matter. We, we can't do that here. We still have everything shut down. Yeah. yeah. As, you, as you found out, Lucky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't even go camping up there. You can't even social distance in a campground. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I'm going to have to call a couple hotels Well, they won't or open our campground either. Yeah, same well, up here. Maine is open. Uh, as far as camping, but you have to be a resident, so yeah. uh, I could be able to get somebody up there to be able to rent the campground, but it'll be kind of hard to be able to hide the car that says Rhode Island plate on it. Well, yeah, and you know that they would make you follow the rules that also says you have to wear a mask. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. That's, yeah. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, Mr. Little Mr. Parts, Parts and Pieces. Oh, happy birthday. Little Parts and Pieces. Sorry that it's raining, though. Raining up here, too. 
Happy birthday, young man. I don't, you know, Lucky, I don't know how far you guys want to stay from where you're going, but you're welcome to camp in my backyard. <laughs> you got to build him a mud board, all right? Yeah. Okay. Nice shirt there, Craftsman. Thank you. Yeah, Patriots. That's mm -hmm. it. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, they're not going to win another Super Bowl without Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. fortunately, that's true. Yep. What, what, Gron, what Gronkowski did we'll makes him mad. He's just going. He's like a fragile piece of glass at this point, trying to play. <laughs> uh, he, that's a good one. He is. <laughs> him and him and Brady are going to win Florida Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Yep. Yeah. What's Brady's your adventure do today? Go ahead, Grandpa. Brady's going to do just what Brett Favre did. He's going to. They're going to get rid of me and going to go get a ring for for another team. Yeah. Yep. That's what's going to happen. Like everything else, football is politics. <laughs> That's for darn sure. What are you doing today, Brandon? Oh, I just got up, loaded the kayaks in the truck, and started downpouring. So I was like, well, I'm going to wait for the rain to pass through. And then I was going to go look at tires for my tractor, but I haven't got there yet. You got to go on your kayak. In the water. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna. And you're afraid out. to go out in the rain. Well, no, it's just I don't have the uh, cover that goes <laughs> over the kayak, and just, uh, the skirting. So. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna fill up with water that quick. Nah. I actually um. Go down with the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I went snorkeling with a couple friends, and we literally found a sunken canoe in the middle of the lake that we were at. Nice. I believe it. Was it an yeah. aluminum one? Those sink pretty fast. It was, it was like it was actually um fiberglass. It was made yeah. out of fiberglass. Yeah. Well, fiberglass spends too we, much time we, in the water, it rots. Yeah. It rots, we, we tried yeah. to we tried to take it out, but it it had been sitting for so long it was basically one with the ground. You could not move it. It was a yep. suction there with the mud. mud. Yeah. Yeah. It was slushy, yeah. sloppy. It was Hey breezy. Stuck. What's up, Breezy? Hey, Twisted. And again, happy birthday, Wyatt. Hey, B Twin. Link's there if anybody wants to come on up. What's you doing there, Briggs? What's your plans today? I'm going to go dig out my Rand's rocket and take it for a ride. <laughs> Rand Rockets, a short wheelbase recumbent. Uh huh. <laughs> Not really sure what we're going to do today. Not sure if the government, uh, the governor opened uh, one of the local parks up over here. Mm. You don't need to go to the park, they said. Yeah. Yeah. Around 12 o'clock, Cheryl's supposed to have some of her friends come over, so. Besides that, nothing else going on. You should let them drive the Lucky 7. Yeah, well, the Lucky 7's at my work, and that's oh, probably yeah. about 30 miles away, so. That's true, yeah. Yeah. It was supposed to be up in Maine right now, but uh, I guess I got kind of blown off on that package. Uh, I was supposed to have it shipped up to Maine uh, yesterday, but the guy got a little busy at work, so. I guess I have to wait for some time over the week. Yeah. Well, come on up, Crazy. There's the link. Hit the link. Hey, Mr. Crazy. Two ATVs. Hey, two ATVs. What's going on, buddy? The I, link's I there. Just wanna, I just want to see if anybody agrees with me. So this thing... When I tried, was taking the transmission out to put it in this, I kept bashing my knuckles because the bolts were rust welded in place. So this is this is how I feel about this thing. Oh come on, it won't go over. That's how That's I feel what about keep it. Them bolts right up. 
You know, you know how to heat that thing up, right? To get the bolts off easier. Yeah, p use PV blaster. Nah, you get a gallon of gasoline, dump it all over the whole entire track to light it with the match. It'll heat up those bolts really, really quick. Yeah, well. That's right. But that or some used motor oil. Yep. Mister Crazy, if you have an iPhone, you you go through uh, Siri. And join that way. What's going on, Junkyard? Yeah. How could you come up? Well, here's a link. I just posted it. Just hit that link. Push the link. Yep. Hit the link. Sorry, Google or wherever. Two ATVs, come on up in the chat for a little bit. Yeah. Let's see who else was in here. Too. A lot of people already was here chatting earlier. Fun things to do with Tex Baki was in here. Remember mud mowers? I watched his video this morning, Bama Mud Mowers. you at yeah, he's way up there. I think he came in when we first logged on. For a spot to camp. Who? Better Everybody's... go out in the woods. Yeah. I got you. All right. There we go. Yeah, it would be nice for me to go camping. I, I wouldn't mind it. Got a lot of stuff that's closed. Yeah, they Thank are camps at our county fair. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Brandon, you were broke. You Mike, were what, was the, um, what was the first mod you did to the Lucky 7 when building it? The first thing you ever did to it, to upgrade it for the mod? Uh, the engine. Engine? I... Basically built the tractor around the engine. How's that? Right. That's the first thing I did was build the engine, found a nice chassis to put it on, and I just built around the engine. Mm. I like how you have that big toolbox. Just like it's like a part of the mower now. How it's on the back. Well, that that toolbox is actually uh, a Craftsman toolbox, so kind of adds to it. Mm. I don't call that thing a craftsman anymore. I call it a Lucky Seven brand because that's not a craftsman anymore. That's no, way not too... no more. <laughs> yeah, it's not a craftsman anymore. Yep. I just wanna. Do you think if I were to? I was thinking about make, making a mount in between my legs for a toolbox. You think I I'd be able to get a big enough toolbox to fit enough stuff for like if I were to ever have a breakdown on the trail? Just like use right the ammo can. And, oh, yeah, I could use an ammo can. Yep. Um, what type of ammo canister do you have on the side, like on the fender, like where you sit? What type That's the actual real ammo can. Oh, all right. Yep. Uh, I think that would fit. I've seen guys use five. I've seen guys use five gallon buckets for a uh, toolbox. Yep. <laughs> Coffee cans, even the old, the plastic Folgers can. Yeah, I've seen I've seen people use the I've seen people use on Folgers can can lids too on plastic weld. Huh. All over it's all over Facebook. Yeah. It's amazing. If you wanted to do something real crazy, would you be 
for a toolbox. You could take an old Kohler, a blown Kohler command engine, and put a hinge on it, take all the guts out of it. That'd be a, a cool uh, a toolbox. Take an old Kohler command, it'd be good for something. <laughs> it could haul the stuff it needs to fix it. Yeah. Put, a, put a hinge on a Kohler command engine, flip it up, there's your toolbox. Yeah. Use a metal and I'm lunchbox. sure you can find a blown... I, I'm sure you can find a blown Kohler command engine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I had to. That's all right. We get we got to have some humor now. That's it. Oh boy, this channel is dead today. Yeah. You're just not talking enough, Lucky. What's that? You're just not talking enough. You got 15 people. Yeah, we got 15 people. We got four, uh, three people in the, the panel, and everybody over there. It's not really much to talk about. Uh, everybody's so used to uh, me talking about freedom of speech shit. Hmm. Well, I, I uh, ordered a holster yesterday. That's nice. And a, uh, a tactical reloader. Oh, nice. Awesome. Just, just getting prepared for what tomorrow might bring. <laughs> That's all right, Brandon. That's fine. Hey, they won't bother you, Gramps. You're too old. They don't like old. They don't want monkey with old people. They want to go after the twenty and thirty year olds. <laughs> yeah. There is a, well, there's one, there's one they, question. They just, if I they got, come no, after me, no. uh, I'll give them something to monkey around with. Yeah. Hey, you 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 would get along with my uncle Barry. He lives up in the woods. We call him Grizzly Bear. He has a a, gr a white beard that goes down. To, it's bigger than it's it, it's down to his belly button. Let's just put it this way: he looks like the guys from Duck Dynasty, and uh, he has an, a safe from a, an old bank with about 500 guns in there and about 15 AR-15s and AR-12s, you name it. And he sits in his he sits in his house all night long and makes bullets. Wow. And he's he on a dead end road. It, huh? Does he make them out of zinc? Yep. He does. Yeah, if I if I had an AR fifteen I'd be reloading my own, but the uh nine millimeter I think so cheap. Yeah. But oh, believe me, you and him would get along good. He said, Hey, they can bring five hundred protesters there up there. They might get me. They might but they won't he says I'll take out at least half of them and they won't get my house because he'll make it into a big bonfire. Yeah, well, they had a a uh, a protest yesterday here, and there wasn't any trouble at all because there was fifty protesters and about two hundred Trump supporters with, uh, uh, as they like to call, assault rifles. Yep. Yeah. Which in itself kind of turns my stomach because. Any any good hunting rifles got more power and more causes more damage than any uh, AR-15. Right. Yeah. Twisted I look at this way. Thumbs up. Gotcha. Me, me and Lucky have access to something that's more deadlier than any gun ever built. You know what that is? If I wanted to, I'm sure Lucky Seven could do the same thing. Go get a, a nice triaxle dump. Go get a triaxle dump truck, fill it full of gravel, put a snowplow on it, and, man, we could take out a whole city block of protesters. They wouldn't have to, like to stand on. I wouldn't care what you shoot at. You man, hey, Lucky, imagine going down the highway, taking a triaxle fill full of gravel, raise that plow up about halfway. If they tried to climb on the back of your truck, lift them up and bury them in a hunk of gravel and keep going. Yeah. <laughs> You caused a lot of damage with that. I, you'd need a Sherman tank to stop that thing. Think you about it. More, you need a lot more than just that. Actually, if I was going to do it, I'd, put, I'd do like they did in Back to the Future. I'd fill it full of cow plop. So when they when they come and just dump cow plop on everybody, hell, that'd be better yet. <laughs> they twisted me. Yeah. Welcome, Mark, to the panel. 
trying to get away. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yep. Uh, Man, is it hot out here? It's. I think it's more humid than hot. If it wasn't as humid, I don't think it would be as hot out. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I mentioned uh, last week, if you guys seen the video, last Saturday, I mentioned that I was going to uh, lie low on Saturday lives and continue with the freedom of speech will be Friday and Sunday. Uh, and I actually went live today just to see if I was correct to make that proper decision and so this is going to be my last sad day broadcast until it starts getting a little bit colder or crappier weather on Saturdays. Uh, I'm going to continue with the freedom of speech on Friday and Sunday but the sad day lives are going to be cancelled for a little while. I'll all continue right. them in the spring. I mean, I'm all about the freedom of speech. I'll tell you that, my friend. Uh, yeah, they actually do better. It's just also, you know, nice the weather's coming. I want to get out there in the mud more. I want to start spending, you know, time on Saturday mornings doing some yard sales and a few other things too. You know, you're gonna be going out with um, Bruce and, and um, Todd. Uh, next weekend. Oh, nice. Um, I saw on um. Their um Instagram that they both that Bruce and Todd just went on a romp. So yep. Hopefully the videos yeah. will be up soon. Awesome. I can't wait to see how his Murray performed after he just fixed it. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much for crazy. Crazy is one of my new members. Thank you, Mr. Crazy. Mr. Crazy Orange. Yeah, that's awesome. Put you right in the book. Now what I'll do is I'll give you a YouTube name, a shout out every time I go live on my YouTube. Now that's an interesting name, McCrazy Orange. I like that. Yep. You put a little accent on McCrazy Orange. Good, uh. Mr. Sparky. Sparky. What's going on, Tex Sparky? Let's see, what am I doing here? We will go. Well, I don't know. I don't know, Brandon. The, the governor's talking about keeping Maine closed down for the whole summer. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to do that with no income from the tourists, you know? Yeah. How about, how about, well, that, off, that part off, off about the sad part about it is, is the, the governor here cares more about people that don't live here than she cares about people that do. Right. And I'm not talking about from other states. I'm talking about from other countries. Yeah. You know, because we're really... You have to look up in the sky. It's an airplane. Now you have the you have the president come here and you have a a former governor meet with him and fishermen, but the governor isn't there. Right. More outlaws in the house. Because she too she was More too bothered outlaw. about the president saying the truth about her. Hey junkyard. The link's up there, guys, if anybody wants to come up. Discussion. Yeah, that's that's right. good day. Day. I'm gonna go hop on a bike. All right, have a good day, buddy. Yep. Hey, Take care, Mr. Have a good day. No, I, God, got you're, you're I got a right. you I, I got a question for all you guys. Do you guys believe in keeping your air air assembly stock or adding a snorkel? Oh, depending what type of engine you have, and if you plan on going deep into the water. You have a Briggs flathead. Uh, it depends. Like I said, depends what you're going to use your mole for. If That's you're not going true. to go that deep into the water, why worry about it? Uh, no. the Lucky 7, uh, V-Twins, you can't put a snorkel on that. Yeah. It's already high enough. I, I think it's about two feet, so. I was, 
I was thinking of putting a catch can on mine because I rolled mine like three months ago, and the oil is still on my air filter. All right. So I'm, thinking, I'm gonna do in a catch can. So it doesn't puke all the oil into the air box. Right. More outlaw says they're bad, so as possible. I never had a mower with the one on there. Well, he is. Well, he does. He Thumbs does up. have a good point. Gotcha. On, um, on Fearless's um, Murray, his, the snorkel just kept bogging it. Hey. He couldn't, couldn't get air. Let's welcome Moe Outlaw and Little Man. Little Moe Outlaw. Baltimore. Little, little more, Little Outlaw. Oh, what's going on, kids? Hey, guys. <laughs> um, I, mean, I wanted to jump in on this snorkel conversation. Yeah. Um, unless you plan on turning your lawnmower into a submarine, it's absolutely useless. You're going to lose power. And it's going to do nothing but stall you out. <coughs> unless, unless you put like a hair dryer or some type of an electric blower forcing the motor um, to get the air, you're not getting the air you need. Okay. I've experienced it firsthand, ride next to Fearless for the last three, four years, screwing with that snorkel, moving it, changing it, lengthening it, making it bigger, making it smaller, pointing it down, pointing it up, putting it to the side, pointing it out the back. It doesn't work. Okay. Exactly. All like my father just said, all it is is air restriction. It's not helping you in any way, shape, or form. Okay. There's just there's not enough draw. Like there's not enough um, suction power coming off of a single cylinder engine to actually pull the the air in. It's okay. just your air. It's just taking the air around it. There's not much of a suction. You need something forcing the air in. If you put the snorkel forced faced forward as like an air intake scoop or something like that it might work with high speed but other than that no way okay hey, good, good, good info i'm taking that into consideration right now all right what else? Ooh, my battery's gonna die I'm lucky you got to see that video before i got it out there <laughs> yeah <laughs> i watched it I, I I enjoyed it. I don't know yeah. why you had to get rid of it. Well, I didn't take it down yet. I don't know if I want to take it down or just leave it and go on. Nah, just leave it go on because some of my videos at the beginning, it's not the best either. Right. At the beginning, you know, and trust me, one of my videos that I didn't think was good is actually, you know, I got like almost 2,000 uh, views on it. So, yeah, did you, uh, on your um, you on your mud run, run like, oh, on your oh, mud run 2018, you have Craftsman, like, Craftsman, like, hold on, hold on. Right. Go ahead, Mark. Did you see the way that block's all welded yeah, up? Oh, that picture? Uh, I seen where you you uh sliced and diced uh, around on top of the piston for the cam to fit. Yeah, if you look at that video, that block is all welded up. Both of you can go outside tonight. Yeah. And uh. That motor, that motor right there will be put now for a hundred horse. Wow. Football fields right here. Oh, it's pretty wicked. Yep. I have no chat. There's the chat. There you go. We right back. Some parts and pieces. So what was what was she saying, uh, Crusher? I was saying, um, the Mud Run 2018 video, you have like 6.8 thousand views on it. I got more than that. That It's almost a 10K. I got 100 shy from 10K. The last time I, the last time I checked, it was only at 6.8. Wow. That's nah, great. That's a, that's almost good... 10K on that one. Wow, that's I think it's 100 shy. It's getting there. The so revenue on that, that is crazy, You're probably going to get to like 100K by the end of the year. Views What's that? On it. uh, it's growing so fast, you're probably going to get 100,000 views on it by the end of the year. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll what see. do you have for subscribers, Mike? Uh, 1.777, something like that. Somewhere around there. I hit my 4,000 mark last Saturday. Yeah, I seen. Congratulations. I yeah. Diana bought me a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> it had 4,000 written on it. Nice. Yeah. There's something that about YouTube that, that that doesn't make any sense. If you have like, like Mike on your channel, you have 
over a thousand subscribers, but your views aren't even getting to a thousand on most of your videos. It just doesn't make any sense why if you subscribe to a channel, why not? Why did you not watch the videos? Well, it, it's just not my channel. It, we'll just say, you know, we'll just say Mo Outlaw. Same thing. He's up to 4,000 subscribers. By yeah. right, he's supposed to have 4,000 views on every yeah. video. It, it just doesn't work that way. Look, you at know, Fearless. He, Look at Fearless. He's got 290,000 subscribers. He doesn't exactly. always get 290,000 <laughs> views like that. Exactly. People yeah. subscribe and forget about it. And back in... You know, before like a year ago when they put that bell on there, you could be subscribed and not even get a notification. Yep. Uh, yeah. So it, it, it's not the fact that nobody wants to watch. I'm sure they do, but they just don't get the notifications or they forget or, you know, it it is what it is. You know, that's the way YouTube is. So take the good with the bad. That's all. Yeah. yeah, but I noticed I noticed on that whole YouTube thing, that first little trial thing that they did, uh, that was crazy. And then the next day, that thing still wasn't released. Yeah. It took like Nine o'clock. It took like sixteen hours for that thing to let it be to be, let it be viewed. Yeah. And that's a long time. That's like yeah. this live video we're here now. You could be able to watch it if you had the notifications, but yet to be able to go on my page and look for this video, you won't see it until yeah. tomorrow morning. Right. That, that, that's crazy. That's yep. weird because mm -hmm. mine are showing up that night. I can go over, monetize them, and like I can go on, open another window on my computer through like a different search engine and go on to YouTube, not as me, and it's there. Yeah. That <laughs> might. Uh, my last live stream posted the same night, but it got demonetized. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's watched your video, Grandpa, they'll uh, they'll know why. <laughs> well, that's the best know. one. That that had to hit over four hundred by now, Grandpa. Oh, it's close to three sixty. <laughs> oh, that was that was a really good uh, video too. Yeah, that was. That was that was crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm not proud of it, but it needed to be done. Yep. I think that that's the one I was waiting to join, and then I had to go do some school stuff with the boy. I had to go ride around and do some scavenger hunt thing for school. Yeah. I missed it. But you know that 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 uh, that happened on Grandpa's channel. Then it happened on Lucky's channel the following night, and yep. then last night it happened on somebody else's channel. Right, and I was like, "Holy smokes! There's there, there's a lot of a lot of backstabbing and cutting going there." Yep. You know the, the trolls. I welcome to welcome them to my panel. I don't care. Trolls are trolls. That they want to come up. They want to chat. Whatever they want to chat. Well, they're chatting the on the side there. The video's going, so. They can come up with their 30 accounts because that'll be considered 30 more views I have. Yeah, so. you're, you're getting a view, and if, yep. even if they hit the thumbs down button, you're getting credit for them actually clicking a like or a dislike, and all it's doing is making it worse for them. Yep. So it's actually not hurting? They no. think they're making it worse for you, no. but they're just making it better. When, no. when they click the thumbs down, all that does is takes your video and your channel out of their algorithm. So they won't see your stuff as often now because they did the thumbs down because they didn't like it. Yep. So let them keep hitting that thumbs down button. It's just less they're going to show up and less they'll be able to bitch at you. Yeah. They, you know, they I always say hit the thumbs down. Just tell me why. They, uh, they demonetized it after it went up. But while I was live, I had close to 300 people that come on there. So I got ads put on there while I was live. Yep. Exactly. Cool. Revenue still came in. Yeah, I'm I'm new to all this and, and these troll things. Oh my god! Yep. I, I don't know nothing about it, and I'm just learning all this. And then I seen it on Ken the stream, and I was like, "Holy oh, smoke!" Hey, Bridge. Hey, Valady. Hey, Valady. Well, you know, a lot of it's entertaining. What what upsets me is these big bad keyboard warriors want to come on there and say nasty thing about the women. But they don't know who they are and. Well, you know, you got to mark a lot of that up. No offense to crap and everything. It's it's the younger generation. They don't have to respect. 
It just pretty much respect. Exactly. Like he said, that keyboard warriors, telephone tough guys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I had a kid post a whole video, the truth about Mower Outlaw, he put on it. He talked a whole bunch of smack for about two weeks at Little Puke in New Hampshire. <laughs> talked a whole bunch of smack. I started sharing his ad for the one that he was talking bad about me. Yep. And then like four days later, when I posted my merch for sale, he told me he was going on to buy a t-shirt and a sweatshirt and he wanted to be friends again and all this and that. What? <laughs> His name's Leo. I won't say his last name, but he's on that, there. That doesn't make it. It's more like, thank you very much. Talk to me after you purchase the stuff. Exactly. Make you purchase. Send me a picture of you wearing it. Then we'll be like friends. That. <laughs> That's the way to do it right there. Yep. Um, um, Diana spent about another hour last night designing more stuff. Awesome. So I've got like a whole storefront of crap for sale now. Hey, there's some pretty good designs on there. Yeah, there's um, beach towels and fleece blankets and pillows and t-shirts and sweatshirts. Hello, Hello Ken. Thank Ken, you. Ken, act of kindness. Thank you very much for the super chat. You just purchased my next cup of coffee. Thank you very much. That coffee's like four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Not a couple of farms. Yeah, but that hey, was that that cost me about twenty cents. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the same boat. <laughs> I won't. I won't pay four dollars for something I can make better. <laughs> no, no offense, Lucky. I mean, I used to love me some iced coffee. It's convenient. It is. And I, I didn't stop buying uh, Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee until they started using liquid sugar. No, I still get the sugar on the bottom of the cup there. If you see it. <laughs> and that's what I used to enjoy. <laughs> yep. My father's got one. Look. Hey, noodles. Yep. Yeah. All in the bottom. It starts the day. <laughs> yeah. That... Yep. The, the best part is you take the straw and you move it around and you can feel the sugar at the bottom. Yeah. Use the straw to stir it up. Well, that 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 last part of that iced coffee is the best with all that sugar on the bottom. Oh, see, yep. I can't stand that. I got to mix it and flip it and get it all, no. all over the place. Ugh. I like I'm, that. I'm I don't need that much sugar. It's like uh, sweetened sand. <laughs> Well, there you go, Ken. Ken, There's thank you very much. Four coffees challenge. Hugs. High five. There you go, buddy. Thank you very much, brother. <coughs> if I have any of my mods in there, if they could be able to share his channel for me, uh, it would be really appreciated. I don't know how to share this stuff. Someday I'll figure this all out. Hey, Travis. Travis, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, bud? Um, I don't know if you guys know Travis, but he's uh, he's been in the Mud Run videos that Fearless and I posted. Mike did a couple of them. Yeah. We got the Mud Run event. Um, he was the guy that flipped my wheel horse for the first time. Yeah, you said he like barrel rolled in and put oh, it up yeah. on the rear. Oh yeah, went up, went over on its side, and we had to jump in, flip it over, put it back on its wheels, and he backed it up and did it again. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for this year. I can't wait to see how the um the castle does in the mud run this year. Wait until oh. you see, wait until you see the video I'm editing. Castle did good. Well, yeah, I saw um I saw on Facebook and Instagram you and Fearless just went on a romp. Yep, kind of a last minute. Decision. Bama, thumbs up. We said screw it and decided to go. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait to see how how both those machines do. Bama, Bama. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning, What's Bama. Going on, Bama. What's up, Mower Outlaw, V-Twin, Grandpa, Crusher, hey, Mr. Uh, Lucky, me. brother from another mother. Yep. Bama. Yes, sir. I uh, I just wanted to let you know, <laughs> man, uh, the reason I didn't let you up the other night is that Lucky and I had something to handle that we needed to handle alone. You know, no offense, brother. 
No, I, I didn't take it to heart, Grandpa. I knew I knew there was a situation, but you know, I just it's all good with me, man. You're good to me. All um, right, thank you. I think everybody kind of figured that out after <laughs> what that video was all about. So. Yeah. Yeah. We just had to put a couple things, lay it out flat, to let everybody know our side of the story. And we got a lot of good responses on it, stating that, you know, uh, they were glad that we actually put uh, daylight to the subject. Woo. Any better been outside today? It, yes, it, I have. It's humid, Mo. We're outlaw. Grandpa, it's gross out here. Yeah, it's it's sticky. It, it it's uh like a Def Leppard song, you know. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bruce. Why does he still have his, uh? Bruce, shut your green, green screen, screen off. Now. My green screen? Yeah, it's on your phone. I'm not on my phone. I know, you're on your phone, but yet last time you used the Streamyard, you had green screen on. I'm not oh, seeing nothing. We we right could here. see it, but yeah, you're, you're fine. It's not making a big deal. You're okay. No, it ain't. Oh, I no, see. it's good. It's still yeah. got uh, mud mower farms. Back yep. Up. Yeah. Exactly. If <laughs> 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 you end up against a bunch of green leaves, or probably pop up. <laughs> and those two ranches right back where you two found them. So now, so, so lucky uh, is. Is uh, Mud Mower Farms, is he a mechanic? Mud Mower Farms? Uh, far as his personal life, what he does, I'm not exactly sure no, uh, I mean what for, he does. I mean for a living, yeah. I mean, because, man, the man knows his stuff. Yeah, he he's an awesome, awesome, awesome guy. I mean, he he did a uh, remote start on, the, on his last video. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, on that truck that he got. On a vehicle? Yeah. On oh, that okay. Truck. Not to knock Mud Mower Farms, but, um, but you know, I'm, I'm all about Mud Mower Farms. Guy is awesome. Yeah. Um, putting those remote starters in are wicked easy. <laughs> well, we'll hey, do hopefully. And do what it says. Hopefully I could get that, uh, the Lucky 7 up there sometime, uh, at the beginning of the week there, Bruce, so. Yeah, we'll get that figured out. That'll be great. Yeah, I guess he was awful busy. I didn't get to see him all day. He drove by one time with uh, the semi, so I know he was delivering some uh, shingles, so I don't know. It might just come up on a friggin' flatbed of an AT whale or so. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I'm supposed to have the Lucky 7 shipped up to Maine. <laughs> it's going to be mine for a week. <laughs> You Why just want yours for a Why week. To shorten that thing back down. You just you just want what's in that uh, ammo box. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I did order five hundred more of them. Yep. Um, I took the revenue I got uh, last month and I put it towards decals. So I yep. made nothing, but I made y'all some decals. Yeah, I'll uh, have him have him. Uh, Ship the lucky seven to you, and then it'll be under quarantine for two weeks. <laughs> Fourteen days quarantine. Well, Bruce, I I know what you just said. You just made some new uh, stickers for you guys. I don't need no more. I got like six hundred of them myself. <laughs> you probably do have more. Than <laughs> that so that's where they all went. <laughs> And I'll tell you. So what's going goes, on there, Mark? If anybody goes to Las Vegas, look around. Because in the 10 days I was there, I went through 200 decals. Just peeling yeah. them and sticking them. Peeling yeah. them and sticking them. All okay. old Vegas covered <laughs> in decals. Not too much, Bama. Just been working on the wife's tractor, trying to get it ready, trying to get, I got to get the new motor together. I got it all primered. We started spraying the paint metal flake again. Oh, Lordy. So, uh -huh. then tonight, we're going to try that live stream thing again and see what Good happens deal. here. What time twisted? Uh, 7 o'clock, I think, is what Polar Bear and her have set up. E Eastern time? 
Okay. Have yeah. a good day. I gotta go. See you later, Crusher. See you, Crusher. Whoa, that was fast. Later, Crusher. See you, Crusher. Have a good one, man. I wish my computer would shut off that fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to turn on that fast. Yeah. But no, I guess we're going to try a stream tonight, so hopefully I don't get trolls and all that. Well, hey, bring on the trolls, man. That's more views. That's, yeah. that's more for you, man. The best thing is if you're going to go live and you're afraid of trolls is to make sure you have some good mods. Mm -hmm. I, I have some mods, but I, I think Bam is one of them. And yep. Bree, uh, Breezy Bike Shop, Polar Bear, and Arrow Fisher. They, they were the main ones. That, the ones that came in, I made mods, and then I'll probably add more mods tonight. So well, I protect myself. One, right. thing, one thing, Twisted, is you, you have to in, inform your mods on what the guidelines are because, you know, like Lucky and I consider a lot of trolls, you know, that that's okay. Come on there and run your mouth, you know. You're still a view. Right. Right. It's just, it's, I just want it pretty much simple. Marks and pieces. Thank you. Sorry, Mark. No BS. You know, I just want it nice, clean chat. And okay, then, then you don't want any of the crap. So when they come on, have your mods kick them out. Yep. I have a gentleman yeah. in the basement. A B D wearing a hat and his name is Lucky Seven Mud. <laughs> Lucky Seven Mud. Uh, I don't know who the guy is. Bring him up. Uh, yeah, bring he him just up. Shut off. He just wow. shut off. Yeah. I, I do have another one. A long time good friend. Mr. Fritz. What Fritz. is going on, brother? What's up, Fritz? I ain't What's seen up, I ain't seen Fritz around in a while. <clears throat> Can't see him now either. Hello, Paul. The How glare, doing, Fritz. Turn, turn around, Fritz. There's too much uh, yeah, sunlight you're, glare. You're your body. Turn around. What do you mean? There you go. A little bit more. There you go. There, there you go. go. You almost. Yeah, there you go. Better. Right there. Right there, brother. Is that better? Yep. Yes, yep, sir. That's perfect. <laughs> I have three other people in the basement, okay, but right I am there. not I'll dropping nobody. Now I can't see damn thing. Oh, shit. Uh, Mr. Crazy, you're going to have to wait. <clears throat> Drop me, Lucky. I don't know. No, no, I'm not dropping nobody. Mr. Crazy? Oh, yeah. And they haven't been up on the panel, so I'm just trying to be careful as well. Oh. Drop it. Drop it. Yeah. Uh, drop it. Like it's awesome. Right. Thank the, uh, you very much. The mugginess you guys are having, we're not having down here. So. What you been up to, Fritz? I got to move some things off the uh, mower that shouldn't be there. But, uh, new tires. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, Look at those good. tires. I got nice Oof. big ones on there. I'm actually... Big wide rims. <coughs> they're, they're actually off of... Five log, too. Wow. <laughs> it's a track. It's going to be a five log. Twenty-five, ten, twelve. Nice, nice. Mm. I've also uh, got ah, you go, girlfriend. Front ones. Good job. Yes. Ah. Ones that are actually being mounted. They're the same size, but they're eight inch. And I'm on it's another rim. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take these off. How far I have to have my wheel distance to turn because the tires are going to be this much. <laughs> so uh, I got to check my wheel and debate where I have to cut this and weld the other rim right to it. So a whole. You've got side covers on that then. Master. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find any for mine. You can't make up a set? I mean, I can make anything, but... Fabricate. I gotta get the wheel horse back in here, because right now it's got no motor. Right. Act of kindness, give me a second. It's loading. It's very, very slow. What is that? Yeah, I tell you, you, you uh, mud mower guys are 
pretty talented, I have to say. Thanks, Grandpa. Look at this thing. The kids just brought me a rock. Well, look at it. It's like bugs carved into it. Wow. Hmm. It's a fossil. Something's acting up with my phone. My internet already shut off. We should try to we'll wash it later. Yeah, you guys can pop that stuff. To be honest. Stop. Let me cut it now. Yeah, maybe that's why. Guys, I might end up losing internet. Why? Uh oh. What'd Cheryl do? I don't know. No, the internet went down. I hope we're still live. Yeah, you're still yeah. on. All right. <laughs> Refresh your page. Because I'm having a problem with my internet. I That's... did. That's what led to this. Hey, Jacob. I refreshed it. That no. Went down. All right. Maybe I'll try it again. Because I, I just was able to get a couple things here. Everything's still working on this end. Everybody can hear you and everything. Yeah, yeah so... it's still up just fine. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Ken. Act of kindness. He just uh, dropped a uh, nice PayPal account slow. there. Mm. Dropped some coffee money. Yeah. Thank oh, you very much. I always blame Cheryl. It's always her fault. The lady forty-nine. Mister Crazy, I thank you very much. I think you're hey. still in the basement as Lucky Seven. Are you? I wouldn't let that lucky seven guy. Hey, on Bruce. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, Are yeah. you uh, you putting back on that four twenty? That new four twenty you had went and got. Yeah. yeah, it'll be round three. It'll be the third you new. You got a new motor. You got a new motor before the warranty runs out. That's pretty cool. The starter died. The first time the head blew. Oh really? The second time the starter uh -huh. died, and uh, Harbor Freight doesn't do third port, third party warranties. Like I couldn't go buy a starter, and Harbor Freight reimbursed me. I couldn't go have it repaired. Yeah. And Harbor Freight paid for it or reimbursed me. Their warranty is to remove the whole engine, clean it, and bring it back. Well, that's a plus for you, though. Cool. <laughs> it is, it isn't. Somebody, I have, to, I have to buy another new uh, warranty. I have to pay another 80 bucks for two years of warranty, and then I got to do the break-in again. Kenneth Actus, you finally spoke up about us. Fun, normal, crazy people. You, <laughs> hey, wait. You told you. the truth. Thank you. You point to one <laughs> Thank you. person on this panel. Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> nope. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Don't look at me. Part. No. There's none. <laughs> Well, nuts somewhere. We're all in this sport together. We're not normal. <laughs> no, that's for sure. A normal person would go buy a freaking four wheeler and do this. You mean an appliance? Exactly. Mm -hmm. A new stove. All yeah. right, I'm gonna jump off here, guys. I just thought I'd stop in and say hello, and I'm probably gonna get out and get riding. Yeah. And I'll probably put some more videos up. All Ooh. right. We'll talk Great, to you later. Fritz. Take care, Fritz. You're good. Awesome, Fritz. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. Also, the gentleman that was in the basement, Lucky Seven Mumbos, I know who that is now. Yeah. Not me. Who is it? Paul. 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 Limited. First take. Limit. Paulie. I L E. H M A N. I can't pronounce it. Lemon. Limerd. That was that was the what? that was the one causing all the grief on Grandpa Street that other night. Mister Crazy, I'll let you up in the panel. There you go. Mister Crazy Orange. So are you like a tangerine or a clementine? <laughs> what do you got oh, there? Look at there. Nice. That's not terrible. That's craftsman. Of course. Not bad. Yeah, eight inch tires in the front, eight inch tires in the back. 
What? All right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your machine and where you're located? I live in New York, uh, St. Louis County. Not that far from here. Cool. No, I don't know how you change the camera around, but I think it's you just turn the camera around. Make yeah. it easier. Take your phone and go. Yep. Oh. Well, uh, that was the we lost button. him. <laughs> that, wrong button. <laughs> that, that was easy. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> nice meeting you. Those thirty seconds were great. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, um, somebody, somebody, somebody. Wednesday night, y'all were on somebody else's channel. They deleted that video. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, we we already know that. Wednesday night or Tuesday night? Wednesday night. I go on Wednesdays. I think it was Thursday night, wasn't it? One of the two. It was Mower Outlaw and Lucky Seven was on the channel, and they got booted, and then the video got deleted. I got booted. Yeah, from uh, this person's channel. Uh, I'm not surprised that was booted, but I don't. You... Hey, Sparky! What's up, Sparky? Hey, Sparky! Well, I am babysitting the dog at the moment. She's fast asleep at the moment on the settee. Oh, so awesome. I've got five. So the two cats are at the back at the moment. So... Mr. Crazy, we'll put you back up shortly. You're, you're actually fading in and out. That's why I dropped you. So how is the crazy world of everyone then? All depends on where, what country you're in. <laughs> well, I'm in Cornwall, and we've just been told we've just been told we could go back into full lockdown this this, this area. Wow. Yeah, my buddy's in South Shields. He was telling me that the other night. Yeah. Well, we just had a memo on the system saying do not go out, do not travel, and do not do much at the moment because our our rating is over one. So that means we're in the screw mode, that's what it is. Yep, here we go, Lucky. Lemon, Lemon, where's all the peoples that are mad at me? Uh, Don't know. I'm not mad at you. Harder. No, I'm not mad at you. No, no one's mad at me, I don't think. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Can we all get a smile? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would if back. I had teeth. <laughs> I caught the camera. Me and Grandpa's in the same position. <laughs> uh, I'll just the camera. Grandpa, you keep on stressing, you got to fart. <laughs> hey, Mr. Crazy, have a good one. Have a good day, Mr. Crazy. Thank you for the yeah, new membership. You. I appreciate that. One, yeah. Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, on that yeah. membership, right? It popped up on my screen, right? Thank you for renewing your membership, right? And then it says something really weird at the bottom, like, uh, this is a membership, so it's so it's it's belonging to YouTube, please buy the the rule. I like, what rule? We break the rules when we come in the room. Right. <laughs> but, lucky, you know, read that. I always like to make the people happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. What's up, uh, Anthony? How you doing? Something wrong. Hey, this guy's right up here. Yeah, him. A little different. Yeah, we finally, we finally got the internet done and dusted this week. Oh, all repaired, finished. Uh, yeah. You're not, I'm not mad at anybody. Oh, love ya. So, Mike. Are we definitely on for this weekend? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> I know a buddy of mine from um, Otis Field, Maine, is going to meet up with us. Um, my girlfriend's going to go. You, I don't know if you're bringing Cheryl or not. Um, but Todd and Todd's wife might go also. All right. Well, this is the deal. Uh, yes, yeah, Cheryl is coming with me. The campsites are uh, out of... We can't do that. Why? Uh, they're not open to the public, only for residents. 
I'm a resident. I know, but they're still going to see Rhode Island tag plates. So you park your car here and take one of my trucks. I have two. Okay, well, all right. Now, that that becomes another issue. I can't get to campsites. You would have to because you have to have a mass, I mean, a main ID. Okay. Neither of us has it. So if you did go ahead and get the sites, I'll just give you the money on top of that, you know. You okay. have to be the one to go there and check Exactly, out. yeah. You would have to go there and do all that because well, we can't. I, they they I, won't I, let us. I already called the lady at FB yeah. last night. Uh, I can I hug out from here and hit one of the campgrounds. So. See, see how so, you are, Lucky? You're a bully. Yeah, I'm a bully. <laughs> so as far as that, just figured that out. Uh, There's no such thing as bullies. There's just weak people. <laughs> Who's dying quiet? No, I mean, so, die quiet, please. We'll do the the mud stuff. Sad day. Mm -hmm. Sunday, uh, we want to go and visit Grandpa. Uh, oh, yeah. And then. With tractors or without? <coughs> what's that? With tractors or without? Uh, without. Okay. Uh, and then after that, we don't know what we're going to do. Depending how old. Long with staying up there. I have a whole entire week off. So, <laughs> well, 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 well. Hey, Scotty. I know. I read a bunch of the all the campgrounds up here are opening up, but they're doing it for like a minimum of four days or something like that. If you're gonna rent, so I'll. Uh, to be honest, when Diana gets here, I'll have her call. Yeah, but just I'm figure like, all that stuff out. And they don't like. They're gonna get what they don't like. Shoot us a text, you know, <laughs> we can figure something out. <laughs> you know, if it is a campsite, try to get it, like, excluded area, you know, wet yeah. area. It's not, like, out in the open. I've been to some campsites where, you know, there's a big open field and they give you a little spot to put your tent. I don't like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not looking to sit around the fire naked, but I do. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe that's what might happen. Who knows? <laughs> Good morning, Rosanna, my friend. How you doing? Good morning, Rosanna. Sparky, are they getting ready to shut you guys back down? Is the numbers rising over there or what? What actually happened this morning, the town mayor sent a PM to the Facebook, here, this town's Facebook, and you've got to log into it, and it says on it, please be advised, we are now above one. Um, we will be taking precautions right now to stop any unlocking of any properties, any buildings, anything, uh, if this carries on. Because we got raided here by um, all the tourists about a week ago, it's now called the third. Well, so well, it, to, Sparky, you, you've heard what was going on in that country, right? Mm. No, oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But you know what the funny thing is, is before all this started happening with the riots and the protesting, yeah. everything on the news was all yeah. about this virus. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you could, you can't even be on the, you know, have the news on for five yeah. minutes without hearing it 20 times about the virus. But yeah. now it's the opposite way around. The virus yeah. just went poof, disappeared. You know what? You There's know what? no That's such thing. The, now it's all about the riots. The virus disappeared, right? It's all about the riots, yep. but they're not even covering the fact that Hillary Clinton goes to trial this week yep. for the deaths of the guys in Benghazi. Mm. Yep, that's what you see on the news. And as she should, they yeah, had exactly they she, had ma Marines ready to go sixty miles away. Mm. Yep, the uh, we've had like at the moment we've had uh, a letter on Friday. Shut up, you machine. Alexa thing. Um, yeah, basically, we've had a, a letter on Friday. They're going to pull the support for any carers, like me and Joe. So we don't get no more help from them. And they're going to pull that. So they're not going to pay for half of the stuff they promised. So they're gonna not going to help. And top this off, anybody that's homeless hey, well, that's in the hotel has to find their own accommodation on some occasions. Wow. Yeah. So it's all gone crap now. The There's a little outlaw. It's gone. Yep. Not. So, yeah. 
So this town's gone to like dog dog house. <laughs> and then we got told yesterday we've got to wear masks to go into any transports or into a shop, certain shops. <laughs> I've got me though. Yeah. So well, I'm going to talk to the other day for a respiratory issue. And uh, mm-hmm. I had to wear one. It was the first time that I've worn one yet. Yeah. yeah, I've been essential. I've been to work just about every day. Yeah, and I haven't worn one yet. I had to go to the doctors or else they wouldn't see me. Yeah. So the issue is, as now you is- all know, I don't really wear a mask. Yeah. I think the only time I wear a mask is if I went into a little convenience store. Only reason yeah. why I do that, not to, pretty much not to cause any more problems. But you know what? Sometimes I go in without a mask. I work all day without it, and that's it. I don't. Yep, they, I'm waiting for somebody to come up and write me a ticket. I went into one convenience store. They said I couldn't come in without it. I said, "Well, you lost my business." Turn around, walk up. Yeah. Well, the, the fines here are, are 60, 80, 100, and five hundred. And your five hundred is well, after you have been asked three times. I'll tell you. Well, you know, and, you know. You can you can fight that you can fight that through court. Yep. I'm sorry, Grandpa. You can't hear because it's made yep. now mandatory law. It's not like an asking. It's a mandatory law mm-hmm. now that's put under um, a travel law. That you know, to. It, you know, if you really, you know, over here in the United States, it's different over there. Okay. Mm-hmm. We got a freedom. Okay. Yeah. And. You can fight that through court. I mean, oh yeah, well, you, in the United States, you can. I don't know about over there in England yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, y'all uh, different than what we are over here. Put it this way: we're politically screwed here at the moment. This town is supposed to be opening up on the fifteenth. We are partially open at the moment, and now we've got our rating gone up. We're going to be screwed because at the moment we we've been told to use food bank and keep ourselves floating. And so we know what's going on. We've had our food bank. We've had everything. Luckily, last week, so we're ahead of everything. But I said, "What if that runs out? What do we do?" Oh, you'll find a way of surviving. I said, "You're not. You're not thinking in the head, you lot. You're going to pull all the funding. You're going to pull all this stuff out. How many people has cared for people? How many people done this? You know what I mean? They said, me, "Well, it's a government ruling. I mean, the government absolutely is trash here. Absolutely." So it's the way Hey, Lucky, I got to roll. I got to get to my uncle's house and help him out. All right. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see y'all. Yeah. Y'all see be later, careful. Bama. 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 We'll sunny side, standing straight up, dirty side down, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you too. You know, yeah. my Chevelle, my Nova. I, I'll tell you right now, and, you know, look at this as cold or however you want. You know, all these people protesting out there and rioting. They ain't wearing masks, so if they get sick, then, you know, oh, well. We have uh, room in the uh, panel for one more person, and I will probably be on for another five to ten minutes if anybody would like Mm. to come up. How is Cheryl? Cheryl's fine. Good, good. (coughs) Excuse me. I want social distance from you, Mike. You know what I mean? I don't want to catch that. (laughs) I think you're the furthest one away from me. Yeah, I was just saying, I think the social distancing between you and Mike is just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go ahead and say you're six feet apart. Mm-hmm. Hey, East Coast. Oh, my God. East Coast is on. Yeah, East Coast. Yeah, down. Apparently, the nine beaches we have around us was full for four days. Let's that welcome Mr. Fun? Moore, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Is he coming hey. up? There he, he is. Hey, now. What's up, brother? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Nobody. Right What's going on, guys? Hey, Chevelle. Nova. <laughs> right back at you, kids. The <laughs> grandpa's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that doing a dab. I do dabs, but they're a different way. 
Yeah, <laughs> I hear. I do both, Dad. <laughs> yeah. I battery with something. I'm gonna my phone. I know, buddy, because I have my cleaning screen still on. If I put yeah. my cleaning screen up behind me, it'll show uh, somebody else's YouTube. Yeah. Screen. <laughs> hey, Lucky, what do you think of that last picture I sent you of that front end? Uh, Ty, it's looking really cool. Hello, Mud Mower Farms. What's up, Mud Mower Farms? Mud Mower Farms is my buddy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll put him up for a little bit. And you can uh, feel free to can. show these guys no, no, and show not. your stream and stuff. Oh, yeah. I got to strip oh. down for paint right now. There no we go. water. One little farms. There you go. You get the thing up. Where's look at I have my, my green screens right here. Whoa, look at that. Wow. How's that? <laughs> there you go. Have your lawn there. What more? I'll show the back of here. Magic! Yeah. Bruce just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> How can you sleep like that? I don't know. What are you holding yeah, up there? Right I'm like this. It's a canvas. Just a green canvas? Yeah. yeah. Just uh, It was like two yards of material at Walmart. You can see yeah. how nice and green it is. Actually, oh, you can. Point. Well, we can't see the green at all, but... <laughs> oh, look, there's some green there. <laughs> yeah, East Coast, yeah. I, like I said, East Coast is going to get a lot worse. If they do put the lockdown, it's going to be a four-week <coughs> lockdown. They reckon, I reckon it's going to be eight-week lockdown. Oh. Way to go, Holy Mud poopies! Mudmore Farms. Thank you very much, brother. Mudmore Farms showing his love. Always yep. does. Good man. Yep. Good, good Two man. Two thumbs up there. Mike, did you say you were signing off in like five minutes? About well, five minutes or so. Why don't you just stay on for another 11 and make it a solid hour and a half? All right. Well, you know what? I You've have to, to take... People. i got to take an intermission, though, because I really have to take a piss. Or are you going to be sending me a Marco Polo? No, no, no. <laughs> so do you guys want to hear a tune for a minute and a half, or you just want to just talk with yourself? With we'll yourself. just talk. We'll just, just talk, talk yourself off, and we'll All just right. we'll talk without you. <laughs> Grandpa's in charge now. Oh, God. Uh -oh. Grandpa's in charge. Now. Don't do that to us. So I guess uh, we're all coming up to see you there, Grandpa. I'm I sorry to ask you, you, what's your name next door to Grandpa? What's your name? Dave. Is it Dave? Is it Dave? Twisted V Twin. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? What's your name? Sorry. I keep because I keep forgetting your name. Mark. <laughs> Mark, that's the one. Somebody just said Dave, didn't they? I'm Dave. <laughs> yeah, he's Dave. Uh, hold on. I know your last name. All right. No, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> yeah, Mark. No, no. They're friends on Facebook. I had to think. <laughs> Don't forget to hit thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to try this live stream and stuff again tonight. See how that works out. What what time roughly? Uh, 7 o'clock. Eastern? I'll add you, yeah. I'll add you on to your thing and Mark. I'll have a look Mark. Mark Beach when it's it's called. So, so Sparky, my, my question to you would would be if there if there's a resurgence of this, what do you think the cause of it is? Me personally, yeah, Taurus, the Taurus coming in. When Thank you before. very much. Where are the, the Taurus coming from, though? Well, we had, we had 974 Taurus come over for four days, just literally bombard the town uh, on the nine beaches, and that's what was quoted in the paper and by the local mayor. So we, I got to say, I got to assume it's right, <laughs> but apparently it's crazy. The world. So I'm just gonna I try and add you, uh, Mark, on trying to find you on the list. Uh -huh. I, I, want, I wonder though how the how the tourists are traveling whenever they're stopping everybody. They don't want everybody. 
I know they're not from this country because we're not even allowed to leave the country right now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, the difference the difference being is is driving over where Sparky's at. You you go from one country to another, like going from one state to another here. Yeah. Cool. The nearest is town almost the size of Maine. Yeah. The yeah. nearest nearest town to us is 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 eighty miles away. Well, well, so, arms. When is this? In August. I know. That's why I posted it. I said, uh, when is this? How come I haven't heard about this? What's the matter? That's cool, Mud Mower. Make your way into Maine. We'll definitely uh, have a nice romp. Okay. All right, yeah, if you're coming up to Virginia, stop by and say hello. No, <coughs> he's, uh, he's in oh, yeah. Canada. Yep. I'm what sure we could find some power lines that we could be able to ride on that goes right into Canada. Oh, yeah. I, our governor's putting them power lines right through the middle of the state. Where are you at there in Virginia? Uh, just outside of Lynchburg. Okay, because I got... We just come back up to Ohio from... Uh, down there, we got a uh, we got a place down there uh, east of uh, Hillsville over in Dugsburg. Okay. Down there, right off, right at the top of the mountain there. <clears throat> yeah, see, they, Sparky, they they can't cut. They're not talking about any resurgence here because it wouldn't make any sense when you're letting hundreds and thousands of people walk mm -hmm. protesting That's about. A yeah. I'll be in Ontario with all these protests happening. With all these protests happen, if no uh, beer flu gets worse, then we were all lied to. He's not a right. panel. This is a picture from the news. This is a picture <coughs> they did send me. So, and it's quite good. I like this. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't understand the whole concept. Not that I wouldn't want to help anybody on this panel, but what sense does it make to go help Lucky's family if I'm not going to help my own first? You know. So that's that's the morning. Wow. No, that no, does look refreshing, though. <laughs> if if you did that here, you'd be arrested. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's no social distance, nothing. And that was the morning. By the afternoon, there was over 900 people from one end of the speech end to the other end. What? And the police couldn't do anything about it. The police tried to, and they oh. got told to shove off. Wow. For a couple minutes, not one minute for an hour. It's too nice, though. Because of that dirty... Hey, Dorito! Dorito! Dorito. 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 Dorito! Good morning. Rise and shine. Mudmore Farms, 12 hours away is better than 40 hours away. Yep. Mm. Come down here. You can oh, pick the park between Castle and Wheel Horse. Drive whatever you want. Hello, Polar Bear. <laughs> All right, Dorito. Have a good day, Dorito. See you later, buddy. I'm doing good, Mason. I hope you are. What's going on, Mason? Ooh, whoa, 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 what do you got for a picture there? It looks like a 4x4 four four slash, maybe? Oh, hold on. Yeah, no, that's Mason's little go cut. Uh, no, that's a Traxxas Summit. That's, that's Mason. A, that's a bad little truck. Yeah, May, May, Mason's very well informed when it comes to vehicles. Well, that little one was an RC truck. His picture is uh, 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 tracks the summit. I love RC. So, uh, more, more outlaw, did you catch any of that uh, that protest that they were doing in Guilford when the president came? No. Uh, what the what the news is showing is, you know, they wouldn't they wouldn't show the people on the other side of the street just. Uh, mm. the, the 50 or so BLM people, you know, okay. on the other, on the other side of the street, there was, uh, over 200 Trump supporters and they were all packing. 
Sweet. Follow me. The, you know, the riot you know, squad I saw on your the news. I saw the riot squad on the news. Uh, apparently, they pushed over an OAP, a bloke, oh, bloke over. The two lads got suspended without pay. And now all 24 blokes who was on that, that team has walked out of the actual uh, unit and said, look, that old guy came up to him and started harassing the other one. And I, I was like, I didn't see that, so I can't comment. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. You know, Bez, you know, they're, they're going crazy about this George Floyd thing, which I, I get yeah. it. I understand yeah. that. But yeah. they didn't say anything about hey, the black cop that yeah. did the same kneeling motion on the white guy and killed him in Minnesota. Yeah. Mm. They didn't say nothing about that guy because mm. it was a black guy yeah. that killed a white guy. I don't want to turn this yeah. into a race thing, but this mm. what this country is all about mm. right now. It's because of a double standard. I, I agree with you because the sad part about it is mm. it's not all Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Over 7,000 died last year that were killed by other black people. Why aren't yeah. they protesting that? Well, the yep. Manchester lad who got shot with a crossbow by, not crossbow, but they call it crossbow here, but it's like a bolt thing because um, the black guy had it and he was shooting at the walls and the target in his garden, but one of the boats <coughs> went over, somebody reported it, the police come in and literally the, the, bloke, the black bloke wouldn't put the actual crossbow down and then the copper just opened fire, literally opened fire. And there was no, like, taser, there was no, like, batting gun, nothing. The copper got cleared and told, go back to your duties, you've got nothing to worry about, you saved the lives. Huh, you, well, you, figure that one, you figure that one out. Bud Mower, you should definitely make a special trip to Maine this summer. Yeah. It'd be worth it. You know I'll, that? I'll take that, the time off, we'll go hit the trails, I'll get fearless. That protest in Guilford was a good example of how things work and how they're supposed to work with all those people with firearms nobody was hurt there was no arrests and there definitely wasn't any fires because here in maine you can shoot someone for arson yep yeah so it's been crazy you know the way, the way we are as human beings we need to have the right to protect ourselves because mm -hmm. the human race is screwed up in a lot of ways yeah we have definitely. the right to bear arms that's right. Mm -hmm. I don't personally a gun person. I don't own any guns, but for the activists, for the guns, hey, power to you guys. I'm all on your side. All I've got is an axe. I'm all right. You see, coming bashing on my door, you have an axe in your fucking head. <laughs> well, Sparky, I'm all I'm all for that, but I don't want to get that close to people that I don't like. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> I'm good at axe throwing, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're not the only one. You, I bet you you've seen Braveheart a hundred times. Oh yeah, so, I love that movie. <coughs> I don't have. I like that throwing axes. I like throwing axes. An axe. I'm a mechanic. I got wrenches. Oh uh, th yeah, but I've got one better than you. I've got one better. I've got electric fences. Hello, Dora. That's a big wrench. Oh, look at this one. Yeah. Yeah, but more. I still think that uh, Old Faithful is going to blow here in the U.S. Yeah, I've been yeah. watching a lot about that volcano, Old Faithful. Oh yeah, she's going to blow up the whole western side of the country. That's right. There's going to be beachfront property in Minnesota. We're going to be all set in Maine. Well, no, actually, we're not because if that goes a week later, we're going to be in a total blackout for over two years. Oh, it's going to be dark. I'll get to use my hogs and headlights. So, don't count on solar. If you got a generator and get the fuel, you're all set. That's why Ed's getting his generator all set up. <laughs> you know, the, the best thing to have would be wind power, because there's going to be plenty of that. Oh, yeah. And it, it's going to be probably 20, between 20 and 40 degrees below zero for a couple of years. Well, at the moment, we've got rain coming through, and it's 11 C at the moment. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys are in Celsius. That's so weird. Yeah, well, I could do Celsius all far, and I don't mind. So. I talk to my buddy over in Salt Shields all the time. He's like, it's 40 degrees. It's beautiful. I'm like, 40 not nice. 40 sucks. <laughs> 40 degrees. 
<laughs> well, eleven C is about fifty one, fifty two, so not too bad. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. You all know the routine. Yeah. This is it. It's been on for an hour and a half. Everybody that's in the chat, thank you for showing up. Yeah. Take care. I will be live tomorrow morning at ten a.m. Uh, for freedom I'll of speech. There. You guys all know what happens there. Oh, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no fucks given. Yeah. So, anyways, we'll talk to you guys later. And yeah. See you we'll play a little bit of music at the end. See you later. Yeah. Have fun, you lot. Yeah. Take it easy, everyone. Later, Jeff. Luciana. Later, later, later. later, later. Yeah, man. Are we still alive? Yep, yep.